Okay, so it's um, it's day four. It's twenty five past six in the morning. I've come to Ipswich to go to the gym. Um, I'm going to be doing a workout on the bike machine here. Uh, probably do about fifteen miles. A uh, bit of leg work to build my legs up. Finished off by a swim. Um, first day back at work today as well, so that's why I'm up bright and early. It's pitch black outside still. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I'm in the gym. Um, I'm on the bike machine. You've never seen anything like this before. Well, I haven't. You've got a computer screen where you can go on Facebook and watch telly as well as keeping track of what you're doing. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's go. Three quarters of the way. Okay. Nearly done. 23 kilometers. So in my book, that's, that's about 15 miles. And uh, as you can see by the sweat on my face. I'm knackered. So uh, I'm gonna go and have a little cool down now. <sighs> Loads of weights. But I ain't gonna tell you how much. I'm gonna have a swim now. Oh, I'm not gonna film too much. I'm talking about. Okay, day four nearly over with. Just got to turn on the radio and listen to Town 102, is it? And, uh, Listen to Young Mason on the radio. So, uh, when the radio turns on. Cabs, serving Ipswich for 20 years. Well, it's going to be a bright morning. Plenty of sunshine around here in Ipswich as well. Not feeling particularly warm, sort of around five, six degrees. Nothing, you know, nothing too major. But dry. Just waiting for Young Mason to come on Town 102 and listen to the old tunes. What a classic. Here at Town 102. Uh, good morning, it's eight minutes past eight. Uh, let's say hello uh, to one Ipswich mum who's called Shelley. Uh, she's in the studio with me now. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. Hello. Uh, Happy New Year. And to you. Thank you for coming in. Um, I saw you at the Evening Star Stars of Suffolk. That was a pretty special night, wasn't it? That was. It was. Cool, dear. It was yeah, it must have been amazing. Tell us, tell us about. Um, one, well, let's, let's talk about your family first of all, because Mason is just one of them, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, tell us a bit more. Um. So who, who else is there at home? Um, my husband Kevin, mm -hmm. um, my son Jack, um, Chloe and Scarlett, my two girls. And Mason, who, you know, we're, we're coming to, you are the warm-up for Mason, right? right? Yeah. Because right. we've got, we got a gag coming from Mason. Any moment, is that right, Mason? Still got the gag coming? Yeah, thumbs up. Good, good. Uh, tell us about Mason. Um, Mason is an inspiration, really. He's my true little boy. And he um, is seven years old. He is. And he was diagnosed with April a brain... 2010, he was diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumour. Okay. And he's had one heck of a lot of medical treatment, hasn't he? Had yeah, loads. he's had um, over 20 months worth of chemo um, and obviously several um, operations because of his shunt and a biopsy. So, yeah, he's had a hard journey. Let's talk to the man himself then. Mason, good morning. How are you, sir? You are right? 
You goose. Good. Now, where's this joke then? Where's this joke? Because I've been told. I've been told. What do you call two robbers? What do you call two robbers? I don't know. What do you call two robbers, Mason? Paranickers. <laughs> <laughs> so Mason then, tell us about what, why it is that you want to to help children that have got um, an illness like yours. Um, why, 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 why do you want to help them? Just to make them happy. And why, why is it important to, to, to be happy? Hmm? Nothing to worry about. Yeah? And when when people are worried about you, you've got a really important message as well, haven't you? When people are worried at home, what do you say to them? There isn't nothing to worry, there isn't nothing to worry about. You've got to be stay positive as well. Um, you, you, I bet you, you must be really miserable at the hospital. I mean, I bet they look after you, but you, but you get fed up with that, don't you? Yes. I bet you do, because at seven you've got other things to do. Yes. And you're a big Tractor Boy fan, aren't you? Mm, yes. Well, do you know what? Yesterday, um, here at Town 102, we went into Planet Blue, and you see that scarf, that big yes. Ipswich Town scarf. Well, that's for you, from us. All right. Keep, you. To keep No, thank you for coming in, to keep you warm. And when I was in Planet Blue, the team at Portman Road said, Ah, oh, Mason! Well, he's such a he's such a Tractor Boy fan, and I've seen pictures of you at Portman Road, that they, they've got this. Right. Oh, I can see something up there. <laughs> what, what is it? For those at home, football. tell us. What, yeah, it is a football. <laughs> and uh, it's a special football. What Can you see what's written all over it? No? Signed. Yeah, it's a signed Ipswich Town football from, from the team at Portman Road to you. All right, so I'm going to pass that to you. Not, I'm not. I'm not even going to try and dribble it over. No, All right, there don't. you go. No. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Don't. You look after that. Um, you want to say thank a big you. thank you to um, his his thousands of Twitter fans yeah, as well. Seven thousand we have now. Um, and he was only on Twitter. He's only got like Twitter a week. week. Yeah, it's gone crazy. The That's world really is talking about Mason. Seven thousand followers. How, how, how are you as a mum? How, how are you dealing with it? It's been a shock. Um, the charity is just like obviously with the help of Brain Team UK, we've just it's just took off, and we haven't even launched it yet. So it's just been amazing. And thousands, he's he's raised he's raised so much money, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. We're talking, you know, loads of cash. Did, yeah, we've done four thousand last year, and the year before that three, and then I think there's over f nearly fifteen hundred already on his Just Given page. Well, we've. Mason's Magic. Well, Mason's Magic is, is spreading everywhere, worldwide. There's a link to the Just Giving page on our Facebook page. We're going to talk more to Angela, to Mason as well. Shall we have a tune? Shall we have a bit of a song? We'll have, we'll have a song. We'll listen to The Wanted and Lightning here at Tell 102. We'll talk more. Do you, do you want to have a look at that ball now? Have a look at that football from Portman Rose. Well done, Mason. Mason, who do you want to say hello to? Hello to um, Kerry and Natalie. Okay. And Mason. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all your support. Ah, uh, they, they, well, I think it's because they're listening as well. I know, hang on, who's that? What's that? Oh, is that Shelley? Who else? Twitterers. Oh, yeah, Twitterers. Well, hello to Twitter. And the twi Twitterers. <laughs> Twitterers. <laughs> well done, Mason. We're going to talk to Angela in a couple of moments about uh, the charity uh, as well. And there are loads of shout outs. We've got to say hello to from Craig Forrest as well, former Ipswich Town West Ham player. He wants to say a big hello to you. He's a big fan of yours. You want to say hello back to Craig? Hello. Yeah, he, he was tweeting uh, yesterday um, about you as well. Uh, loads about uh, Mason and how you can support him and the work that he's already done as it continues by going to our Facebook page, Search for Town 102. There's also a link on the Breakfast Link page at town102.com. We're going to talk, though, uh, with Angela about the charity and how we could become involved because you need the cash, don't you? Yeah. We do. Yeah, all right, well, we'll do that in the next few moments. Anyone else for more tea? Oh, tea, no. coffee, anyone? Oh. A brain tumor like Mason as well. I do, and that's how um, I met this little boy who's incredibly inspirational and he's a real sweetie, so yeah. Um, what, 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 what is daughter. the situation? I mean, you, you, you're trying to get money out of people like any, any other charity. You're trying yeah. fundraising isn't it's no easy task. No, it isn't, and it's um, really hard. And the reason why um, we've set up Mason's Magic is because the government don't give brain tumors um, their funding in their own right. Uh, so we'd love to get in touch with David Cameron and put that right. Um, so, unfortunately, kids like Harry Mosley, Jack Marshall have inspired us um, to set up Mason's Magic, and that's what Mason wanted to do. And what, what, are the, what is the aim of Mason's Magic, simply? The aim of Mason's Magic is Mason wanted to give back to other children, and we want to set up um, so that Mason can give back to children that need support, um, like travelling to get their therapy, radiotherapy, or if they've got to keep travelling um, to um, hospital or something like that, then we can actually do the funding for that and help them out because there's no finance available. Now, chemotherapy Mason's had. Um, you've had just come out, what, seven, seven and a half weeks of radiotherapy? Yeah, I had mine in 2009. 
seven and a half weeks travelling to and from Addenbrookes every day. Um, there was no financial support and there was no support afterwards, um, which inspired me to start fundraising to set up support groups. And because away from the treatment, normal life has to continue as well, doesn't it? You know, you got absolutely. I've got. Yeah. I'm a single mum with three kids, and trying to manage all of that on top of that was really difficult. But I had amazing support from my uh, local village. Um, let's bring in uh, Shelley Mason's mum uh, one last time because you want to say hello to a few people as well um, and uh, you want to say I want, I want to ask this question what, what is it like um, for the family at home? Um, that is really hard and it is stressful um, and we have found it hard because Mason has gone through a lot um, especially the chemo when he was really poorly with it um, but you just have to get on with it and deal with it and that's what we've done just think positive and then look at him and then when he is small and we just take them days as the best really and there are messages of love and support mason coming on facebook as well you better say hello to your facebook fans um because we've got messages here from amber who says you're an inspiration uh we've got message from josh wishing him well all the best such a brave little boy and what a star you are look at all these people mason saying hello you better say hello you want to say hello Hey, thank you very much. Look, it's a real pleasure to see you. Thank you so much uh, for coming in. Uh, take the Ipswich Town football away and let's go off. You've got an interview with Channel 5 uh, later today. I know you're going off to see um, my uh, former friends at Radio Suffolk as well, later today as well. Um, so you, you, you've got a busy old media day, haven't you? I know. Yeah, and, and the Evening Star, you, they've been a huge support to you as well. Um, and uh, you quite like the fact that the Daily Mail got your age wrong yesterday. Yeah, it is. 27? <laughs> <laughs> that is the good thing about the press. Sometimes, sometimes we do get things wrong uh, and, and when it's the age that's okay isn't it that is, yeah that's okay we can live with that hey uh, mason happy new year to you see you again soon all right is that a promise yeah, yeah good 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 Th thank you very much indeed thank you for coming in young sir and uh shelly lovely to see you thank and you ever so much for having us no, no pleasure that's what we're here for uh angela good to see you thank you very uh, much if you want to find out about just giving when it comes to uh, mason's magic all the details are on our facebook page also on the breakfast link page at town102.com got the latest travel news for you well done mason well done. Day four, over and out.